Hello everybody, my name is Darren. Welcome back to the Kilowatt Challenge and in today's episode we are going to unbox the Victron Lynx Distribution 1000 Amp bus bar system and also the Lynx Shunt which is very popular indeed. Come on, I'll show you what they look like. Right, everything is in here. Everything is in here. Let's take out that. That's the uh, a Lynx uh, distributor. That's another one. That's a shunt. Get rid of this box. <laughs> and let's show you what it is. Let's start with the distributor. Again, I've got two of these. So we'll just take a look at one of them. Now, <laughs> Victron is in a, a small way famous for its quite minimal packaging on some of, some of its devices. Its larger devices, like its inverters and chargers, are extremely well packaged. And the smaller devices, which typically come in separate boxes, which have their own packaging, they can be just a little bit light on the packaging. See what I mean? Still, it would survive um, a, a, a next day delivery. It would certainly divide, uh, survive a long um, um, journey, uh, but it's just, a, it is a little thin. In comparison to the, uh, the Multi Plus 2s and the um, uh, MPPTRS smart controllers, it just feels a little bit thin on the packaging side. However, what have we got here? We've got a sticker. The sticker is really handy because if you need to install this device upside down, which it does support, then all the writing will be the wrong way around. So they give you a sticker to be able to put onto the distributor so that it looks like it's the correct way around. Very clever. Communications cable, which I'll talk to you about in a moment. And a quick install guide with absolutely no information other than the sticker. Uh, there we are. And here is the device itself. It's literally just in a little bit of bubble wrap, which I'm surprised at. Now, packaging aside, this thing is huge and it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Very well made, extremely robust. And if I take off the negative terminal, if I can, this will give you an insight. Into the build quality. Look how thick that is, that's insane. Right. Uh, let's get the lid off, shall we? And have a look inside. <laughs> okay, let's open this thing up. Now, it's designed to be opened. I'm not doing anything uh, which will break my warranty or any terms and conditions, etc. You're supposed to take the lid off this and you'll see why in a moment. So we have two Phillips screws. No doubt they'll be marine grade like everything else seems to be. And let's see if they are permanently fastened. Yes, you cannot lose those screws. So don't worry when you're taking the lid off. Put the lid to one side. And here, oh it's so heavy, is what it looks like. Look at that bus bar. No wonder it's a thousand amp. It's absolutely huge. So, let me tell you about how these work. These are interconnectable. You can see that there are two posts here. We have a positive bus bar here and we have a negative bus bar here. You can connect another um, Lynx distribution unit here or you can connect a shunt and you can daisy chain these things um, all uh, together. Um, now the, the circuit board that you can see in here is when you are uh, using a shunt. Um, oh, what have I done with the communications cable? I've lost the communications cable. No I haven't. Come on there it is. There it is. When you're using a shunt the communications cable uh, joins all of these units together and there are there are LEDs which you might just be able to see on the circuit board which can show you through the um, the holes on the cover if any of your fuses have broken. Now what fuses you might see? 
these posts here are your um, connections for your a and l fuses uh, your mega fuses from here to here and if you lift this uh, up you can see that you connect um, the negative terminal here to your battery or to whatever device you're connected to this flap goes down and then you connect your positive terminal here um, let me go get a fuse and I'll show you what that looks like okay 20 minutes later turns out I don't have any mega fuses in stock <laughs> Right, so you basically uh, install install the fuse across here. Now, just to confirm, these are not ANL. These are mega fuses, not ANL. The ANL fuses are too long; they will not fit in here, as I just found out. I thought I had some mega fuses in stock, but I actually don't. So Amazon to the rescue! Right, okay. Now let's show you. Uh, more than one of these connected together and you can see the system beginning to kind of um, build and what it's capable of. Let's get another one. So this is the same. This is another Lynx uh, distributor or distribution bus bar or whatever you want to call it. Here. Now I've got two because each distributor uh, offers four connections to the bus bar. Let's just move the camera in a little bit so you can see a little better. There we go. Yeah, each distributor offers four connections, but I actually need I think six in total. I can't remember exactly. Um, why don't you subscribe and follow my story and then you'll see how many I need in the end. <laughs> oh, cheesy. Right, let's get this cover off as well. We take off this little plastic cover here which stops, um, well, mitigates any risk of this bus bar on the end being exposed. Put that in the box, uh, in that box which belongs to there. And we simply offer those two together, like so. And the chassis, the frame, the plastic frame, fits snugly into the recess on the, uh, the rubber connection there, which is really nice. Now, the communications cable clips in, now which way around is it? Looks like it's that way. Clips in there, goes through there. I think it's through there. It might be an idea actually if we just connect both sockets together and then we can figure out the correct routing. Through the power of editing, I shall figure this out. There, that seems to work quite well. There's the communications cable. See, it's got uh, holders all the way through. Goodness me, this is really heavy. It's about three or four kilos in weight now. So that's eight connections onto the, the bus bar, rated at a thousand amp, every connection fused with the communications cable installed. Now, let's put the shunt on as well. Here is the shunt. Let's take this out. Again, we've got the sticker in case you need to uh, uh, install it inverted, which I do. Now in the shunt, we also get the um, VECAN RJ45 terminators. This is to do with the, the V bus. Um, the, um, the end devices need to, need to be terminated so that the bus can, uh, can work correctly. Um, and we get this included with the shunt. We also get the, um, uh, the, the obligatory sensor. That seems to come with absolutely every uh, Victron device. Let's take it out and have a look. There. Exactly the same 
bubble wrap as the other devices. Again, it's a chunky, heavy piece of kit. Really, really heavy. This is also rated to a thousand amps. Um, and th that's a huge amount of power. So let's take the lid off this and we can install this as well. 300 amp fuse does not come included. You need to provide this uh, yourself. This is an ANL. Here's the actual. Um, there's the actual shunt. You can't really see that properly. But as always, the build quality is, um, is second to none. And, and here now you can really get an appreciation for how thick those bus bars are. They really are thick. So what I'm going to do is I'll install this onto the end of the two uh, distributors and then you'll see my bus bar in its final configuration. Right, and there is the finished product. The shunt into distributor number one, and then into distributor number two. And that is quite a heavy piece of kit. <laughs> okay, let's put the lids back on, and I'll show you what it'll look like on my installation. And with the covers on, it looks a lot less intimidating, doesn't it? <laughs> Very good. Right, let me show you how it's going to look on my wall. So here is my main cable tray. All my inverters and charge controllers are going to be above that, and the cables are going to be coming down onto the cable tray. The All of the um, communications cables, which you can see here, uh, and the power um, ports where the DC cable comes in are all on one side. Now if the labels are in the correct configuration, you can see that's not going to work for me. So I'm one of the users who has to invert my distribution and shunt system like that. And the labels are upside down. So. I'll be using the stickers. So just to conclude, remember that the distributors are basically your bus bars. In here you can have a fused connection to your plus and minus, your positive and minus rail. Um, and the circuit boards which you saw on there are purely just to control the lights. Now if you're not using a shunt, you don't really need a distributor, you can use a Lynx power in, which is um, exactly the same form factor, a um, little bit cheaper. I've got two because there are offer that offers eight connections to the bus bars. On the end, we have the shunt, and the shunt is the device which tells us how much capacity we have left in the battery. It tells us how much we're currently charging, how much we're currently charging at or discharging at, and it also tells us the battery voltage. This is a very clever and a very important part of the Victron, Victron system. Um, without it, it's, it is rather difficult to know how much battery life you've got left. So if you are thinking of going uh, down the Victron route, you need one of these. Okay, so that's the Lynx distributor and the Lynx shunt. Uh, two very, very, very important components, especially in my setup. Um, and probably the go-to accessories to buy when considering a Victron ESS system. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like, tell your friends, show it to your dog, tell your mum all about it, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.